It's a fact that we all need clean water that's safe to drink. But just how does that water get to the tap? Let's take a look. This is where it all happens. Welcome to the J.G. Beecham Drinking Water Treatment Plant. This facility was first opened way back in 1935. At that time, Athens had only about 20,000 residents and absolutely no Wi-Fi. <gasps> Over the years, this facility has kept expanding and improving to meet the needs of our growing community. And today, the drinking water treatment plant can clean up to 36 million gallons of water a day. Wow, that's 288 million glasses of water a day. Someone is staying hydrated. The water for athens Clark County comes from three sources, the North Oconee River, the Middle Oconee River, and the Bear Creek Reservoir. The water from these sources enters the treatment facility through these big intake pipes. This natural, untreated water is called raw water. There are a lot of steps that have to be done to the raw water before it's safe to drink. But first, a drop quiz to make sure you're still awake. Which of the following is not a source of water for athens Clark County? A. Middle Oconee River, B, North Oconee River, C, the ocean, D, Bear Creek Reservoir. Pause now and discuss. Ready for the answer? The answer is C, the ocean. The ocean is not a source of water for athens Clark County. The first stop for the raw water entering the water treatment plant is the rapid mix chamber. This is a 15 foot deep basin with a huge mixer in the middle. The raw water is rapidly stirred to get all the silt, sand, clay, and dirt particles suspended in the water mixed up nicely with our first round of treatment chemicals. That's our powder activated carbon and alum. Wait, hold everything. We need to put on our lab coat and talk science for a minute. It's about to get brainy. We store and even make some chemicals right here on site in the pre-chemical building. One of those is powder activated carbon, which removes bad odors and taste in the raw water. So if you like the fact that your water doesn't smell or taste like a frog pond, you can thank powder activated carbon. Another chemical we use to treat water is alum. Fun fact, alum is used for lots of stuff. It whitens baseballs, it's used in making Play-Doh, deodorant sticks, and it's even used in making pickles. Mmm. For water treatment, alum is useful because alum sticks to dirt and dirt sticks to alum and alum sticks to dirt and it forms this big clump, what we call flock. So keep those chemicals in mind and let's get back to the water treatment process. After the raw water has been stirred up with our chemicals in the rapid mix chamber, the water is then directed into troughs and flows into the flocculation chamber. It's here that motorized mixers help the alum and powder activated carbon evenly mix in the raw water, forcing the dirt particles to stick together, forming the floating clumps called flock. Okay, so flock isn't the prettiest stuff in the world, but it's mainly just dirt particles. From the flocculation chamber, the water then flows into the sedimentation basin. And this is where things really start to settle down. Shh, this water is resting. In the sedimentation basin, the water is kept very still for about four hours. The flock is heavy, which means it will sink to the bottom of the basin, where it's slowly pushed out of the basin with a sludge sweep. At this point in the process, we've removed any large particles from the water. The water is looking good and clear, but we still have a few more treatments to do before this water is ready to drink. But first, it's time for another drop quiz. What chemical is used in water treatment to help remove bad odors and taste from the raw water? Is it A, frog sweat, B, swamp juice, C, powder activated carbon, or D, carbonated active solution. Pause now and discuss. Okay, the answer is C, powder activated carbon. 
This chemical is used in water treatment to help remove bad odors and taste from the raw water. So we've treated our raw water with chemicals. We've removed the large particles, but there's still a few more treatments that have to be done to make sure the water is truly safe to drink. After the sedimentation basin, our water moves into the filtration system. The filters contain layers 36 inches thick made up of sand and anthracite. Anthracite is a very hard coal. By using a process of continuous gravity filtration, the filters catch any tiny particles remaining in the water. This process takes about eight hours, and when completed, we have clean, clear water that's almost ready to drink. Here's a bright idea. How about drinking water that contains no living bacteria, contaminants, or viruses? That sounds really smart and safe. This area with the big pipes is where we can use UV light and perform a pretty brilliant disinfection treatment. UV stands for ultraviolet and strong. Ultraviolet light kills all sorts of bacteria and viruses. Powerful UV light bulbs disinfect water. They emit very intense UV light that kills bacteria and disinfects water to the highest standard. Finally, our clean water is moved to these massive storage tanks called clear wells. Together, these tanks hold seven million gallons of clean drinking water. That's about half of what we use in a day. Hey, guys, can I get down now? Right before the water enters these tanks, we add our final ingredients. Let's take a quick look at those. One of the chemicals added to our water is sodium hypochlorite, which we produce ourselves on site in the pre-chemical building. Hey, pass the salt. A salt shaker like this will last most of us quite a while, but here at the water treatment plant, we use about 32,000 pounds of salt every month. Wow, that's a lot of salt. Actually, we use this salt to create really salty water called brine. We pass an electric current through this brine to create sodium hypochlorite, commonly known as bleach. Yes, we add a very small amount of bleach to our water, which acts as a disinfectant as the water travels through the pipes to your house. We also add fluoride to the water. This helps to make sure our teeth stay strong and healthy, but you still need to brush and floss. We add phosphate, which is a corrosive inhibitor. This protects the inner lining of pipes, preventing lead from entering the water. We also add lime. No, not lime the fruit, but chemical lime. This balances the pH of the water to improve the flavor and help to remove any cloudiness. Once all these final ingredients have been added, the finished water in the clear wells is finally ready to drink. The water then moves through a huge network of pipes, almost 800 miles of pipes, to reach homes and businesses in our community. It's important to note that all along the treatment process, the water is tested for quality right here in the lab. We run these tests every hour and we pull water samples from every stage of the process to ensure the highest quality. We're about to wrap up our tour, but first, one more drop quiz. What do we add to the water to keep our teeth strong and healthy? A, fungus, B, fluoride, C, Florida gator juice, or D, flock? Pause now and discuss. Okay, the answer is B, fluoride. Fluoride is what we add to the water to keep our teeth strong and healthy. We've taken a look at all the steps it takes to make our water safe, clean, and healthy for us to drink. We need water every day. There's not a day that goes by that we do not need water. It's a lot of work that never stops. The operators and staff here at the water treatment plant are working 24-7, 365, to ensure our community has reliable, fresh, clean water. Now that you've seen the work that goes into the water treatment process, we hope that you will do your part in helping us to conserve our clean, fresh drinking water. Here's a few good tips on saving water. Look for the WaterSense logo and tell your parents to switch to WaterSense labeled fixtures and appliances. Take a five minute long shower, you can do it. Turn off the water when brushing your teeth. Turn it on only when you really need it. Listen to your parents, turn off the lights when you leave a room. Yes, saving electricity saves water. Remember, water is a precious natural resource we all need to survive. 
please don't waste water. Do your part and conserve every drop you can whenever you can. So enjoy your fresh, clean water compliments of the drinking water treatment plant. Thanks for watching.